Hey all, Paper Marine back here with another Kill Team Focus, and we are on Orcs today. Um, like I said at the end of my previous video with Space Marines, uh, this has definitely been kind of a, uh, oh, I can't say guilty pleasure because I haven't had any to have kind of a secret guilty pleasure of them, but I've definitely had a temptation for sure to do Orcs for quite some time, probably since the, uh, uh, when I really started diving into the hobby, it was 6th edition, and then the new Orc Codex that came out, and they just seemed really fun, and, and one, easy to paint, as far as, like, if you make a mistake, it's not a huge deal, because they're supposed to kind of look somewhat messy, um, but, yeah, they just seemed like a, a really awesome uh, faction, and fun faction to do, just kind of go crazy with them. So, uh, for some kill team... Uh, will be, for some, Kill Team will be a game of tactics and strategy, a battle of wits where every decision is deliberate and exacting. Orcs and orc players tend to make a, take a different approach, preferring instead to blitz through the enemy in mass of daca, choppas, and muscle, spreading anarchy and leaving enemy teams in the dust. In today's Kill Team focus, we're looking at the unique charms of the orcs' Kill Team, as well as checking out the units and tactics you'll be able to use. So why play orcs? Lads, lads, lads. Orc skill teams are really versatile with five different units to draw their team members from. From the humble orc boy to the deck of spray and ludos. Uh, custom gubbins. Like converting, you'll love orcs. From chopping and changing heads, weapons and armor between kits to loot and guns and gear from the rest of your bits box, there really is no limit. Getting choppy. Orcs are a close combat war man through and through. If you want to win kill team in brutal melee, uh, they're the kill team for you. The unit. Orc boys. Uh, strong, tough, and numerous boys will be the backbone of many kill teams excelling, oops, uh, excelling at close quarters warfare. Uh, commando, the sneakiest gets around. Commandos are dangerous, close combat fighters who are nearly impossible to hit and cover. Use them to hunt shooty foes. All right, uh, let's see. Then we have burn a boy. Who needs to aim when you've got a burn on? These flexible orc troops are great in close confines of kill team, whether melee or torching enemies in cover. Uh, Luda's orcs with a knack for. Reappropriating enemy war materials. Ludas provide long range fire support for their kill teams with the dreaded death guns. And then Gretchen. Let's face it, Gretchen are not exactly the most heroic fighters. They are, however, very easy to hide and cover, cost next to no points, and can be your leader if you're bold enough to recreate the glory days of the Gretchen Revolutionary Committee. <laughs> um, so that's definitely an interesting take on all that. Um. Yeah. All right, the tactics. Daka, daka, daka. Orcs are well known for making up for their deficiencies in accuracy with sheer volume of firepower. This tactic allows you to immediately open and fire again on the foe and is great when combined with Burna or other weapons that hit automatically. So right there, um, I know earlier they had mentioned uh, using a flame weapon in Overwatch. Uh, so it sounds like it still his automatic. I don't know if it's still a D6 or not, but that's interesting. Uh, so Orc's tactic, daka daka daka. Use this tactic after after a model from your kill team shoots in the shooting phase. You can immediately shoot an additional time with that model from one command point. All right, and then we have the uh, Grot Shield. Picture the scene. You're dashed out of cover to blast some Umi to smithereens, but suddenly you're in the gun sights of all the other umis, 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 yeah, anyway, <laughs> uh, by grabbing the nearest grot, you'll be able to fight another day, uh, or tactic, use this tactic at the start of the shooting phase, pick a model from your kill team that's within two inches of a Gretchen model, until the end of the phase, while this Gretchen model is on the battlefield, any attacks which target the chosen model are resolved against the Gretchen model instead, for two command points, all right, and then we have getting started, at launch, players looking to make the most of their orcs will uh, want to make sure they pick up Krog Skull's Boys expansion with Burna Boys or Ludas, depending upon how you build them. 
of course, there's no reason to start not to start right away. A set of commandos is well worth it for a commando boss knob alone. A stealthy bruiser who's both them thematically fitting and deadly on the tabletop. And uh, that is it for this focus. So, uh, like I said, I'm definitely looking forward to doing these. I uh, expect the orc commandos to be sold out online for a long time. So, if you're at all interested in doing this, you should probably pick them up now if they're not already. And let me actually... I'm going to pull it up right now and see... Uh, cause I'm curious, cause I definitely, I think if I go orcs, I want to do commandos. That just sounds cool to have orc commandos. And see, now I'm checking the U.S. site up oh, there. Well, I think I'm checking the U.S. site. Apparently I am on Sweden for some reason. And let's see, let's see. Hey, they're still available. Uh, so yeah, so um, yeah, uh, like I said, definitely looking forward to, to uh, doing a set of these guys up for sure um, and getting some old orc boys on there, orc knobs and boys and ludas and burnas and uh, it'll be fun. Like I said, it's been a, a secret uh, torch I've been carrying for the orcs for a while and uh, definitely looking forward to potentially, uh, well not potentially, I'm definitely looking forward to into getting into some orcs. Uh, I think they'll be fun to play. So, uh, then it looks like we have the, uh, it says, uh, next we'll be checking the Brave Troopers of the Astro Militarum. So, uh, I guess uh, until next time.